Thank you very much. Okay, before I give my inaugural uh, address, allow me to acknowledge our uh, special persons this uh, morning. Of course, to our uh, governor, our uh, beloved Mayor Governor Noel Rosal, <laughs> and uh, Vice Mayor Bobby Cristobal, and all the elected uh, councillors with their families. It it saro saro unko daw po kamo. <laughs> Councillor Albarizo, Councillor Maeng Buban de Fort, Councillor Ato Valladolid. Councillor Alexander Howe, Councillor uh, Attorney Boots Lucila, and uh, to my left, Councillor Lau Beltran, Councillor JP Lee, Councillor Glenn Casulia, Councillor uh, Luis Gutierrez, and Councillor Sunshine Imperial. Ayan, tuum ko, di ba? And of course, I would like also to acknowledge the presence of our uh, former councillors. We have Councillor Bot Buban, Councillor uh, Beth Munoz de Maculangan, Councillor uh, Lillian Ramirez. We have also here Councillor Vince Baltazar. Thank you. Councillor Maeng Santillan. And uh, I would like also to acknowledge uh, Albay Chamber of Commerce, the DepEd family headed by uh, the school's division superintendent, Crestito Marcilia. Of course, uh, the department heads of the LGU Legaspi and the government employees. I would like also to mention, of course, my GSP family. Thank you. The senior citizens, the BASCA, of course, the Women's Association, the Legazpi City Women's Federation. Thank you. We have also Kiwanis Club of the Ragang Magayon. Thank you for your presence. And friends from the media, and of course, my family, the Rosal and Barameda, and I would like to specially mention my Papa, Papa Nonong. Rizal. Thank you, Papa, for gracing the occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone, guests, good morning. Quoting from one of the president of our nation during his inaugural speech, he said, No leader, however strong, can succeed at anything of national importance or significance unless he has the support and cooperation of the people he is tasked to lead and sworn to serve. Today, I need to emphasize my deepest and sincerest thanks for the support and cooperation of the people of Legazpi, especially to all those who believe in my capacity to continue the development of the city as it started by my predecessor, our beloved outgoing City Mayor, Noel Rosal. My fellow officials, we were elected by the people of Legazpi not to be their masters, but to be their public servants, aspiring for changing reforms, more progressive, innovative, and aggressive in addressing the challenges of financing our development plans and programs to bring into reality the changes that our people have desired, not only for themselves, but also for the children and the generations after. This much we pledge as our rallying cry can campaign sa dati sana. Dati, for some, may mean old, but it connotes constancy of purpose on the path of change, on the momentum of reform and transformation. 
to the bright future that we can only aspire before. Our first mission is to build our resilience as we embark on a comprehensive program in primary health care to achieve health for all. The Universal Health Program is the first line of defense against outbreaks and health emerge emergencies. We hope for an end to COVID-19, to survive the pandemic and hopefully rise up and take the road to full recovery. But sadly, sorry, doctor, <laughs> I would like to mention this. Sadly, mga tugang, we have five cases up to yesterday. And I would like your cooperation na padagos po kitang mag-ingat because we, would done, we wouldn't want it to spread again like before. Ano? Padagos po kitang maglikay, padagos pa rin ang satuyang health protocols. And syempre, I would like to encourage those na di pa po nakakapavaksin, magpavaksin na po kita. Ano po? And uh, ang satuya pong uh, uh, booster is available already. So the first booster, pwede na po ang gabos. So sa di pa po, I encourage all of you. Another one is our food security. We need to sustain and even surpass the yields of our harvest for us to have sufficient supply of vegetables and palais in our locality. And as you all know, this is also one of the priority program of our nation's newly elected president. That is agriculture. I will continue to support the programs and activities of our agriculture office for us to achieve food security and efficiency of our farmers, especially in dealing to the new technology in farming so that we can attain more and continuous yields and harvests. I will also support the program initiated by our city veterinary office on meat sufficiency, especially on hogs and poultry supplies, and also enhance and ramp up the hunger and malnutrition intervention activities that is linked to this program. Another mission is on education. We hope to materialize our community college, which is uh, joined and authorized, uh, is sponsored through legislation by our very own Vice Mayor Bobby Cristobal and Councilor Lillian Ramirez and supported fully by 5th and Sangonian. We hope to finish this before the end of our term. Another priority is to support the existing program for social protection to improve resilience. With the outbreak of the pandemic, we cannot overlook our senior citizens who are in vulnerable state given the situation. Our social inclusivity efforts to ensure that our senior citizens are protected calls us to provide social pension for indigent senior citizens to augment daily sustenance and medical needs. Investment in sufficient and quality infrastructure will increase economic activity through improved mobility, connectivity, and sustainability across the city and nearby municipality. We have to intensify infra infrastructure development as a path to progress and peace, such as road network, street lighting system, resettlement housing programs, and livelihoods. On environment, especially on marine development projects. And of course, on water supply, which was uh, funded already with the 100 million. And we have to continually appropriate fund for it. Another priority has been given to the devolution trans transition plan pursuant to the provision of Executive Order Number 138 entitled Full Devolution of Certain Function of the Executive Branch to Local Government. 
And above all these priorities, require the support of our constituents. Thus, we shall need the full trust and confidence of our people. We are sure that we deserve that trust and confidence, for we shall never deviate from the course of integrity, sincerity, and devotion to the welfare of the people of the city of Legaspi. With God's grace, ladies and gentlemen, and support of all Legaspenos, of goodwill and good faith, and of our common people in particular, I pray with all my heart that I shall not fail in my trust. With this, mga tugang, padagusta pong buhayon ang siyudad kan Legaspi. God bless us all.